Hey YouTube kittens, it's Kathy Cat. Is it safe to eat a highly toxic fish? Today, we're gonna try out the fugu and find out what it takes to get from killer sea creature to yummy seafood. It's really rare that people are allowed into Japanese factory sites. So this time, you're in for a rare treat as long as you're not too squeamish. You've been warned. I am so hyped. This is so unique. I, I didn't even think I would be able to see so many things. And I can actually see the puffer fish float around here. Look at them go! Look, 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 look. They're two years old. They're big for two years. So they can be outside for 30 minutes and you just put them back and they'll be fine. This is where the fugu are. And this is the office of the owner. So he can always have a look at the blowfish. Fishy fish. Now I have a passion for fashion, but the owner has a passion for puffer. The office walls, the art around, like little trinkets and all, everything is pufferfish themed. In order to prepare pufferfish, you need a license. And the pufferfish license in Shimonoseki is said to be the strictest one in all of Japan. It takes you years of learning, experience and training before you can pass. And the same rules, of course, apply in the factory. Many times they are washing and double checking before the fish is even allowed to be prepared for shipping. Safety is number one. I got told no customer has ever died under the skills of a trained chef in Shimonoseki. They've already created their own character and it's so cool, look at it. He's called Iwao. Da -da -dun. Check out those muscles, wow. I would like to see a gun show of that one. <laughs> Splash out at one of the most known restaurants for blowfish, pufferfish, Heike Jaya. What I learned is that no edible parts of the fish are wasted, apart from the poisonous part, of course. Cooked, fried and in jelly is also tasty, but the unique thing about the pufferfish is the texture when it's served and prepared raw. Instead of in big chunks like for example tuna or salmon, the pufferfish is served in super thin delicate slices. We already got a fugu special course, this is the starters and apparently this little jelly thing here that already contains the skin of the fugu. Remember how I said nothing is wasted? This is a part of it, but this is actually high class. So this type of pufferfish goes into our soup and the director said he was very creative. He said, maybe it was like made in the way of thinking, this is the bridge that goes over from Shimonoseki to Moji, and these ones are maybe the mountains. And the staff said, let's say that's what we meant. <laughs> and there it is, real fugu. First time you're having it too? It's the first time the director's having it too. It, it's, I'm, I, I don't know why I'm so nervous, I mean, this is definitely not poisonous, even though it's a poisonous fish, it's prepared properly, but it's the first time I'm actually get the chance to eat it. Sashimi, fin, skin, and the area between the skin and the meat. Everything, everything gets eaten. Nothing's wasted. I respect that. There we go. Puffer fish. Poisonous puffer fish. Dip it in the sauce. Dip it, dip it, dip it, dip it. There are a couple of dishes here in Japan that you might not get used to like eat in your country, but well, here they are part of the cuisine and just don't think about it and just enjoy the taste. was the poshest, most tastiest experience and I think I finally understand why everyone is so crazy about the puffer fish. Puffer, 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 that was so good! <laughs> wow! I think, yeah, at least try it guys. You need to at least try it. 
I realized for the first time that the people here see the pufferfish as a symbol of their pride, joy, and as a good luck charm of Shimonoseki. It's not just a fish, it's a symbol of the region's prosperity and culture. Japanese people love the unique chewy bite that the fugu has. The puffer fish in Shimonoseki is said to be extra special in texture as the fish have to be extra strong to swim in the Cannon Straits. The fish is a prized delicacy. I could really tell that this fish is treated much differently than other types of fish in Japan. So when people mention fugu or blowfish, the first thing that comes to mind is the fear that you will die from consuming a poisonous sea creature. And to be honest, I actually was scared too. But after learning how they were processed and prepared, I realized it's super safe. And I learned to love the puffer fish in all of its tasty, tasty glory. So don't be scared to try puffer fish when you come to Japan. No fish for a second. Thank you for watching, kittens! Don't forget, I stream almost every day on Twitch on Catty Cat Underbar TV. So if you want to come and chat with me, I'm looking forward to meeting you. So I'll see you soon, and until next time, don't forget, life should be sweet. Let's be sweet to each other and do what you love and love what you do.